Do I look different to you? I'm a beautiful man, but I don't naturally look this pretty. I am currently testing out skin retouching software for video. And this software is unbelievable, completely automatic. I literally just dragged it onto my clip and it does an amazing job. Let me show you how this works. All right guys, the software that we're gonna be using today is created by Retouch for me and I've used some of their other software that they've created for Photoshop where it does automatic skin retouching, eye brightening, teeth brightening. Uh, it can remove flyaways and hair. It does crazy stuff completely automatically. And I said it was one of the greatest Photoshop plugins I've ever used because it literally just worked and it just required one click. Well, now they've moved into video and they're claiming they can do the exact same stuff with video. I was highly skeptical, but in the few tests that I've done before I hit record on this video, it appears to be working way better than I expected. The one main problem that I currently have with this software is that I personally edit in Adobe Premiere and this software is made for DaVinci Resolve. So I had to download DaVinci Resolve to make it work, but if you already use DaVinci, this is definitely worth checking out because it's pretty nuts. We're gonna be looking at three different plugins, Retouch For Me Heal OFX, Retouch For Me Dodge and Burn, and Retouch For Me Color Match. Let's start with Heal. Now, I created a very quick video clip that's going to stress test this software. I'm walking purposefully through very different lighting where the lighting is changing color, brightness. Uh, my white balance is gonna be shifting. I'm gonna have shadows all over my face. I'm gonna be going from front lit to back lit. Will this software actually be able to track my face throughout this entire clip and remove blemishes even if I'm moving in and out of shadows let's find out so first I'm just gonna scrub through this until I can find a nice lit shot of my face that looks pretty decent and I'm just going to drag the retouch for me heel OFX right on top of this clip here it's going to show up in my effects panel on the right and then I can toggle this effect on and off to see exactly what it's doing so check it out zoomed in here I mean very impressive now, if you have a problem with it removing moles and stuff, I would just turn down the sensitivity a little bit here. You can bring back some of those. But uh, even at 100%, I don't feel like it looks that bad. It doesn't look over-processed or fake to me. I'm gonna cycle this off just so that we can see what the next plugin does individually, and then we'll add them together. I'm going to drag on the Retouch For Me Dodge and Burn effect here. And this one can definitely over, <laughs> overdo things. At 100%, I start to look uh, like some sort of TikTok effect. So obviously that looks really bad, but you just have to tone it down a little bit and you can get to a very realistic level. It's just dodging and burning the wrinkles just a little bit. Maybe that's even a little too much still. I'm just gonna tone it down just a little bit more. But something like that I feel like looks pretty good. And now we can combine both of these. First, I'm going to turn on the uh, blemish removal, the heel, and then I'll turn on the dodge and burn after that. And that's not too bad. Let's take a look at me outside here. Let's cycle both these off. Big difference. But again, I don't feel like it looks overdone to me. I just feel like it, it looks natural. I don't think anybody would ever be able to tell. But the real question is, what does this look like when I'm moving? When I'm actually walking through different styles of lighting, different color and shadows are crossing my face, is it actually going to be able to keep up with all of these changes? Let's export this and see. All right, it's done rendering. Let's watch this back and see what it looks like. All right, let's do a stress test here. We're gonna wow. do color. Lighting changes. Okay, Canada I see software continued to track one my face little flaw. Wow, all of this. Only one flaw. Do I still look beautiful? Really amazing. There is one mole on my cheek. And as I'm turning my face and I'm walking through the shadow, I see that mole flickering just the slightest bit. I don't think the average person would ever be able to see that. I'm just looking for it. That is a way better result than what I was expecting. So I think most people will probably use software like this for talking head type videos. You're interviewing somebody and you know they've got a zit on their face or whatever. And I think it's gonna work perfectly for that. I didn't expect to be able to use this software for moving subjects, uh, but I think you can. I think it does work. All right, we've got one more plugin to check out. This is called Retouch For Me Color Match. And this is for color grading. And instead of manually going in and tweaking, you know, a thousand different details, you can just upload an image 
a still frame from like a movie you like or a photograph you like, and this software claims that it will match it. So let's put this to the test. I'm just gonna drag this effect onto a clip of me sitting here, and I'm going to go to choose reference image. And I just downloaded a few different screen grabs off of Google images of movies that I thought looked pretty cool. So as you can see here, I've gotten kind of similar colors, but part of the problem with my set here is I've got orange light firing on my walls back here, and then in this shot, it's literally the exact opposite. We have warm light on the subject and then cool light on the background. Let's try another image. So this one's getting a little bit closer, especially that background tone there. That's looking pretty cool. Let's try one more. So here I've got a shot from the Joker movie. I feel like uh, it's got those greens down, but I'm losing some of my skin tones. Let me mess with it a little bit more. So we're getting a little bit closer now in terms of overall tone, but I'm pretty sure that whoever graded this Joker movie, I bet what they did was they cut out the Joker and they added a color grade to him that was slightly different uh, than what's going on in the background. If you look at his cheek here, you can see that we've got some of that teal in the shadow right there, uh, which makes me think that you're not gonna be able to get a perfect looking shot without individually color grading the subject and the background. And this software, of course, also gives you more options for fine tuning as well. It allows you to upload a LUT, for example, if you were shooting in log and you wanted to use a LUT first and then add an effect on top of that. Or you could add this effect to different nodes, select different parts of your frame, track them, and then change the color, for example, on your subject in the background independently. Now, I am certainly no expert when it comes to color grading movies, and I know even less about DaVinci Resolve. This is literally the first time I've used this software, but if you're interested in going deep, there are hundreds of incredible tutorials on YouTube totally for free that will show you how to color grade in DaVinci Resolve, and there's also tutorials that go a lot deeper with this specific plugin. Well, guys, that wraps up this video. Once again, I am just blown away by this new software. I can't believe that we are to the point now with a single click, we are removing blemishes from people's faces in video now. Absolutely crazy. Check it out. I've linked to it in the description below and there might be a discount code. I'm not sure if there is, I'll put it in the description. And if you happen to be a photographer, check out our free photography contest at fstoppers.com slash contest. For this month, we wanna see photographs with interesting lighting and we're giving away thousands of dollars in pro photo lighting modifiers. Again, this is totally free to join. Check it out at fstoppers.com slash contests.